Uh, as your organizing committee for this event, we'd like to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us this weekend and making it what it is. Uh, some of you may have traveled to be here today, and we hope you this been enjoyable and your arms are not too tired. No. You've uh, probably seen the Wi-Fi details posted around the building, but if you haven't, the details are... Uh, the network is Are You Secure? Uh, the username is podcam2014. The password is RU capital. Uh, guests 49. Uh, these should be posted up around as well. If you can't find any, find one of us or one of the people on the blue shirt and I'll answer for you. Uh, during the day, uh, if you create tweets, vines, stuff like that, try and use the hashtag uh, PCPO14 so that we can keep track of it, you know, see what's going on. Uh, and if you need any help, go to volunteers or organizers. The volunteers are in the blue shirts with the flame on it. Uh, the organizers are all in red. Um, and that's it for me. Uh, I'll introduce Kareem. Uh, He's going to talk a bit about uh, sponsors and the people that help make this, this possible financially. Awesome. Yes. Thank you to uh, everyone who gave money. Really, really appreciate it. Um, so these are the people we need to thank. Uh, so if uh, you are huge on Twitter, uh, go on Twitter and just thank them at uh, uh, their accounts. First of all, thank you to uh, the people that provide the space here, to Ryerson University. Uh, thanks so much to them, uh, for Chevy, for sponsoring, for giving us a vehicle uh, this weekend to transport uh, people and goods all over the place. Uh, we would like to thank Rogers uh, for sponsoring as well. They have a charging station uh, on this floor on that end. So if you need to charge uh, your devices uh, today and tomorrow, make sure you go visit them uh, and thank them for coming on both days as well. Anyone here from Rogers? They're probably outside still setting up. Awesome. Uh, to ING Direct, soon to be Tangerine. Go check them out from here for your direct banking needs. Uh, to Catalyst Canada, High Road Communications, Digital Ocean. Uh, to Tim Hortons for the caffeine today and tomorrow morning. To GitHub Kinetics. Sisu, uh, My Digital Planet, Canadian Newswire, Fresh Books, Right Sleeve for these awesome t shirts. And I think we still got stuff downstairs. Is yeah. anyone going to talk about that? The t shirts, the books, whatever? Well, we're selling the books. We're selling. So we've got some uh, awesome uh, PodCamp uh, design, yes. Right Sleeve Power. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you donated $35 or $30 or more uh, downstairs at registration, you can pick up your gift bag. Uh, if you want a gift bag, you can just donate money downstairs at the front desk and you can pick one up there. Awesome. Hover, corporate pages, sticker giant. Uh, and thanks to some of our, our other partners that helped to spread the word. People in code, Mark Evans, Star of Digest, Toronto. Uh, to the dozens of donors. Uh, as well, and to Lou Dogs for the after party tonight. We'll have some more announcements on that. So I think that is it. Did I forget anyone? No. Nope. That's it. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so, yeah. Woo, yeah. yeah. They make you free. Uh, yes, they do. Um, so I'm sure you guys have all heard of the term unconference. Uh, if you've never been to PodCamp before, you might be wondering what that means. Uh, it means a few things. First and foremost, it means it's a community-driven event, so all of us up here uh, donate our time you know, on top of our full-time jobs so it's together. Uh, with help from our sponsors, as Kareem just mentioned, we're able to provide it for free, which is pretty awesome. Um, but it's really you guys who make the experience, so uh, the conversations in the halls that you're gonna have might be more valuable in some of the sessions, so talk to people, meet people. It's really about uh, you know the networking experience, uh, and it is what you make it. Uh, and then the other thing it means is just that we have what's called the, the law of two feet. And that's really that if you're in a session and you're not finding it valuable, you're not getting what you need from it, it's, you know, no one's going to be offended. Just quietly don't disturb others, but leave the room and go find a session that will be of value to you. Uh, because again, PodCamp is where you make it. We want you to get the most out of your experience. Uh, that's my cue. Um, I have a question for you guys. Who's who's been to PodCamp before? Me. Oh. And who's uh, first time today? Cool. Nice. Thanks for coming. Um, otherwise, we just put in a whole lot of work for nothing. It's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> 
I was uh, I was in charge of um, organizing sessions this year. So the schedule, uh, if, you, if you have a bone to pick, it's me. Um, but uh, so basically, we took your feedback, or anyone who came last year, we heard a lot of, we want some diversity, we want some more maybe technical sessions that are for beginners so we can understand that side of things a little bit. So we took that and we actually reached out to some people. We wanted to make it a little bit more, we love social media and marketing, but something a little bit more than that as well. So we've, we're pretty excited about it because we've gone back to our original roots a little bit. There's a lot of podcasting sessions this year, which is amazing. And there's a lot of uh, technical sessions, which is uh, due in part to, we partnered with an organization, Open Data Day. Um, and they are in the second room by the stairs. They're having a hackathon all day. Um, with just a bunch of cool nerds in there creating shit. So, and then, <laughs> which Bruce in a second will tell you more about here on the end. Uh, but tomorrow, you're going to want to come back to this room. I believe they're on at uh, 11, the first session, where they're going to talk about what they were doing. So when you're overseeing them or you see them in the hall, you can kind of get a little bit more info on what was happening. But some of those guys are coming in to present some stuff on open government, open data, other stuff like that, which is really exciting. I think it's a new thing for PodCamp this year. Uh, the other thing we did different, uh, for those of you who've been here before, is... Um, change the, the process a little bit so that we had some voting. I know it's not a perfect process. It's the first year we've done it, but it's allowed us to figure out where people should go. So we've got different sizes of rooms. We want to find out what people are most interested in seeing. Um, however, it's like I said, it's not going to be perfect. There's always some rooms that have standing only and some that are a bit more sparse, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, it just means there's more people who we're into that at the particular time. But again, <coughs> if you want, if you're not into what you're seeing, get up and go somewhere else. It's not rude. If you're a speaker, don't be offended. Uh, that's just what we are. That's, that's the community. That's that's how we roll. And I think that's everything I was going to say, unless I forgot something. Uh, Bruce, you want to talk about open data? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank the podcast team for uh, letting, letting us to be part of the, this awesome event. Uh, today is Open Data Day, and uh, it's a day where uh, cities around the world are building uh, social apps through uh, using open data. So we're trying to unleash the potential of open data. So we want to bring awareness uh, to like maybe teach people about open data, or uh, like I said, building apps, uh, building visualizations, analyzing the data sets, and kind of uh, you know just uh, understanding the information and uh, providing insights to solve certain social problems. Uh, so we're going to be hacking all day, and uh, and you guys are all welcome to join as part of the teams if you want, um, or you could just come part of the day, see if there's a project that you want to participate in. Uh, it's going to be a, like a marathon of hacks, so we can actually have a hack that brings back the same teams next week uh, to a venue, so you can continue working on the same projects. And we'll have monthly hacks after that, and then the big show is actually in May, where these these uh, solutions are get presented uh, to a conference called Gold and Data. If you, sorry, but if you want to look at the session um, on your laptop or your mobile, just sessions.podcamptoronto.com. Everything's very mobile friendly, so you can just see what's on the go there. There were some updates even last night, so make sure you check back. Um, yeah, party. Can you repeat what the password on our experience? Yeah, it's uh, guest 49 How big is RU? They're actually posted all around the building, I think. You guys yeah. have yeah. it, so you'll be able to see it. Yeah. Okay, I'm Rick Weiss, one of the organizers. Uh, I look after the money, but I also look after one of the long-standing traditions of PodCamp, and that's the Saturday night after party. Yeah! yeah. 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 And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's uh, starting at 7 o'clock at the Blue Dogs on Girard, and not to be confused with their downtown King Street location, but Girard directly north of this building, uh, 76 Girard Street East. And uh, it's like last year for those of you who are here, and uh, there's going to be some complimentary snacks, some drinks, and uh, so we hope you'll come out and have a good time with us there. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all from us. I just want to uh, thank the volunteers. Yeah, I want to thank uh, all of you for coming again, all the volunteers, uh, and the organizing committee as well for uh, putting up with me all year. Uh, we got Katie here who does PR. We got Sam who's wrangling the volunteers. Uh, Rick who is finance. Adam does our community management, 
Rand is our content manager, and Kareem who uh, handles sponsorship. So uh, thank you, and have a good podcast, and uh, see you out there. Uh, open data days at, at Toronto, or is that Toronto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's province and Toronto. It's actually international. There's 160 cities that are celebrating Open Data Day today. Okay. Uh, so that's all around the world, and we have hacks uh, all around the world building these social apps. Yeah, and you don't have to be technical to participate. Uh, just so you know, you could contribute in other ways, like you could, in uh, the user experience or user perspective. There's uh, many different ways to contribute. So. Awesome. So, any other questions? If we have another question later. Find one of us. Red shirt shirt or blue shirt? There's a ton of volunteers. Um, We're so thankful for them. I don't know if any of you are in this room. (laughs) Are you on? Oh, you have a question? I have a question. Where are the maps? Because we just realized we're going to be lost. There's, uh, where is the the map? There was some hard copy printouts, right? No. No. They're all on here. Uh... Like maps for food around the area, or just this building? They're just for the rooms. Uh, they're on the second floor near the coffee. There's a sign with arrows pointing which way to each room. Uh, the rooms that start with three are on the third floor, two second floor, that sort of stuff. Uh, but they're mostly on the third floor, just on that end, and second floor around here. We're only using six of the classrooms, so I know it looks a little bit daunting, but you'll see on the, the after you walk around once, you'll see it. There's red signs with the door number. Um, so there's just like three on each floor or something like that. So, <laughs> But find one of us if you have a problem. <laughs> uh, Our open data session? Uh, there's one at uh, 11 o'clock uh, run by Mars. Uh, they're going to talk about how you can make money with open data, which is awesome. Uh, and then uh, 4 o'clock we have a session about, I think it was civic selection by Richard, uh, turning it into civic action. Me, me and, uh, and Rick, yeah. Rick, sorry, Rick, Rick. Rick. Yeah. You, you can talk about that one. And that's at 4 p.m. Yeah. That'll just be a big discussion. It'll be a lot of fun talking about how... Uh, how open government can play a role in society. Yeah. Uh, much of the magic of an unconference are those spontaneous sessions when you find an open space. Do you have a bulletin board or a space where people can go and say, uh, I have an room, idea? Room 224, I think it is, uh, just uh, by the elevators. That's an open room for breakout sessions if you, have, if you just want to get in there and chat with people and like have some sort of impromptu discussion. Uh, that room's available. But there's, there's no like whiteboard or anything like that to write stuff on them. Use Twitter. Yeah, just tweet, tweet it out with the hashtag and the people see it, they'll come and join you. Usually there's a few breakout sessions. Hey, what's the hashtag? A hashtag is PCTO14. So, any more questions? That's it. All right, so enjoy. Have a good day, and uh, we'll see you later. We have a little bit until the next one, but uh, and more people are showing up. Yeah, so. grab some coffee, <coughs> have some candy. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I